So in today's tutorial, we'll take a look at how to modify the action buttons. And when I say action buttons, I mean the ones that appear um, here. So these are the actions, like an actions dropdown. And we see these buttons here. So the way that we do it is, first of all, we determine what view we are currently in. So right now we're seeing this inside the edit, I mean, inside the detail view. So we need to create a custom metadata file for this view. And then we would work inside that custom metadata file, which is going to be put inside custom modules, name of your module, metadata, and then the name of the view followed by devs.php. Honestly, the easiest part, the easiest thing that you can do is actually make a small modification inside the studio uh, by basically what you can do is just go to studio, you can open up the detail view of that uh, module. So in this case, I would go to the layouts, I would open up detail view, I would make any sort of modification here, then I would do save and deploy, and it would then create that metadata file for you. So you're not building it from scratch, which can be a bit of a hassle. So that's a good workaround, you just create it, it's going to put it here. And then here we can start modifying our stuff. So you can have something as simple as uh, what I did here. It's basically a direct link. So when we go to the actions button, we click on this thing here. It's basically just going to link to another module. And the way that I did it is basically with the JavaScript on click equals and then simple redirect. You can have uh, the buttons which are in the system by default. So the edit is the system recognizes that this is going to be an edit button. So for example, I can remove it. We're going to do a save and rebuild. I mean, repair and uh, rebuild. And then when we open up the previous view, right now we see edit. Right now we do not see edit anymore. Or you can even go as complex as creating a custom action that's attached to that button. So there's a good example here by uh, a very resourceful community member named Francesca. And she provided an example of how you can do, how you can create like a button that when you click it, it's going to perform a whole bunch of stuff. So that's, that's also very helpful to know. And that gives you basically a very um, brief overview of how the actions drop down works and how it can be modified. If you found the video helpful, uh, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe also because there will be more of these videos in the future. Thank you.